Terry Shepard is a bona fide hero. He's in the US Special Forces, he's traveled the world as a Green Beret, and he's even fought off sharks on camera. It's true, look it up. And I really respect John Rettinger. He's the creator of the largest independent technology portal on the internet with one million subscribers. He's a really funny, smart guy, and he's a brand new dad. And we're here to help you master the art of modern manliness. This episode of Manthropology is brought to you by K Jewelers. Every kiss begins with K. So, the holidays are upon us, and of course, my wife and I are having that where are we gonna spend it conversation. The holidays are a great opportunity to bring both families together, and since everybody's there anyway, if you thought it through and you're ready to do it, proposing, it's an awesome opportunity. You got everybody there to celebrate. So, we're gonna fill you in on some of that, which actually might help you when you decide to propose over the holidays. Now the courtship and proposal process is pretty much about assessing compatibility and connection before you sign up for the rest of your life with somebody. In many cultures, there's an actual physical exchange to prove the value of the proposing or receiving partner. It's not entirely clear where the idea of kneeling while proposing comes from, but one school of thought is it comes from kneeling or bowing before entering a church. So a little bit of spirituality thrown into an already really nice tradition. Now kneeling before a victorious enemy was a way of showing surrender, the kneeling before royalty to accept honor was really important, so you could say that a gentleman kneeling during a proposal is showing his humility and loyalty. So what about the ladies getting in on this proposal action? Scotland and Ireland actually have a tradition where every February 29th, on a leap year, the woman can propose to a man. In the 1800s in Wales, a man would carve a wooden spoon and give it to his girl as a proposal gift. Her way of saying yes? You guessed it. She'd wear it around her neck. In today's culture, pretty much the only way to propose with a flash mob. <laughs> don't, don't do that. Unless you know enough people who could whip and nay nay. So that's where it comes from. But in the end guys, it's really just knowing your girl and her family to make this special occasion perfect. Yeah, everybody's different, and your hopefully soon-to-be fiance is the same way. Make sure whatever you decide to do, that it's unique to her and her family. But there are some things to consider when planning this event, so give a listen. The first thing to consider when proposing is plan versus surprise. I'm more of a surprise guy, mostly because I couldn't wait to see her face and the ring was burning a hole in my pocket, but you might be more on the planning side. Whatever you decide to do before you move forward, think about what your lady and her family might want and go with that. And if you're planning on proposing to her during the holidays, make sure you pick out the perfect ring for her, but one that also fits into the family tradition that she actually comes from. You can always go with the Leo Diamond Solitaire. Its superior fire, sparkle, and brilliance will definitely not go unnoticed by the family across the table. Or if you need help, you can always go to K Jewelers, home of the Leo Diamond. The experts there will make sure you know everything and go home with the perfect diamond. And you can check out our previous episode to learn all about picking the perfect engagement ring. Or you can go together, pick out the whole bridal set, both her engagement ring and wedding band. Now looking back, I like the way I proposed to my wife, but you know, maybe I could have done it in front of the family or at least with them around. Better if we came back from like some crazy exotic location like Antarctica, showed up to the house and said, by the way, guess what, we're getting married. I don't my game, I put like a will you marry me on a white stallion, on a sunset. You know, I'm a really bad singer, but it'd be cool to write her a song. Wait for it, text message, with extra heart on my emojis, boom. Dude, that's the worst idea ever. You do not, guys, you please do not propose to your fiance with a text message. You could also use the, the dancing lady emojis. Super cool too. Goodbye, nice talking to you. Guys, if you have any great suggestions on proposing, let us know. We can't wait to hear from you and we will see you next time. Text message? This episode of Manthropology is brought to you by K Jewelers. Every kiss begins with K.